Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm doing a little get ready with me tutorial on this summery peach, sultry, sexy, pretty pink peach makeup look. It's really pretty for summer or spring and I think you guys are going to love it. I've partnered with Sigma Beauty to celebrate the launch of Sigma Beauty in Sephora, Australia. Finally! Like, this has been a long time coming. You guys know that I've loved their brushes. Literally since I started my YouTube channel, they were the first brand to bring out like a good range of makeup brushes and they've stayed so consistent throughout the years. Their brushes are vegan, cruelty free, and they are backed with a two year warranty. To be honest, I've had <laughs> some of the brushes literally since 2012 so they last a really long time but that two year warranty definitely means something they have patents on their designs because they're so unique so you can't get a lot of these types of brushes anywhere else and that's something i love about them one more thing before we go into the look the notification squad giveaway i have so many sigma brushes that when they sent me more product to this video i thought i'd put together a little giveaway pack so I'm going to give away to today's notification squad the best of Sigma brush set, the awesome skincare brush set, a brush cleansing mat, and the Sigma dry and shape spa, which is really good for cleaning your brushes and drying them, as well as the Sigmagic brush shampoo foam, which is a 100% natural foam brush cleanser. The gadgets are all backed by free to you warranty as well. So if you wanna win all of this, guys, super easy. Just be a member of my notification squad. Ooh, almost dropped everything. And leave a comment in the comment section within the first 12 hours. Okay, I think that's it. Let's get into the look. First things first, I've got nothing on my face except for lip balm and I'm going to be using some of my skincare. So I've got freshly cleansed skin and now I'm going to use my cream and my eye cream. Sigma actually have skincare brushes. This is from the skincare brush set. This is the moisturizer brush and this is the eye cream brush. And I just painted my nails so I actually don't want to use my fingers. So these brushes are good. This is the Ulla Henriksen C Rush. Mmm, this smells so good. And this is the eye cream brush. Guys, it's so soft. You know, I got that pimple there, right? Well, my esthetician said that it could be because I'm taking my eye cream too low. So I feel like using a brush is really gonna help me be more precise. So that I don't get those breakouts and just put the cream where it's meant to go. Okay. Now I'll take primer. Wait, how much? Has a little indicator on that thing. I'm just going to apply that. I'm just putting this on with my 3D HD Kabuki from Sigma. I start in the center of my face and then work my way out. Okay, I have a choice between brushes. I can use the 4D HD Kabuki or this one that I haven't tried, the Flat Kabuki F80 Air. So the 4D HD Kabuki is this really cool pyramid shaped brush. This one's really fun to use, but it also has all these edges that I can manipulate and I can get close to these little nooks and crannies because of the point. Um, but this one I kind of want to try because um, because it has the duo fibers and I kind of miss that duo fiber finish that I used to get. So which one? Hmm. I think I'm gonna use the F80 Air. Just bought this foundation. It's the It Cosmetics CC Plus Oil Free Matte Foundation. Okay, I'm gonna start buffing that in. I love nice big face brushes because they get the job done so quickly. Oh my god, I can't open this because my wet nails are wet. Trusty Sigma Brow Powder in medium. And I'm going to take the E75 angled brow brush. Oops, flip it around. 
This is an extremely precise brush. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna use the lightest shade. Trying to get a natural effect, so I'm just doing a light dusting with the lighter shade. See the difference? So I chose a lighter shade so you could still see my eyebrow hairs and then the little flicking motions of the brush will help make sure it's applied in a natural way. I'm then gonna take the darker shade just for the tail. Okay, a clear eyebrow gel, my go-to. Ooh, they look really fluffy. Can you see them? Now I'm gonna take concealer to cover this boo-boo. This is the F75 concealer brush. Perfect match. Okay, onto eyes, I'll take Urban Decay Primer. Oh, I almost thought there was gonna be a wand in there. I miss the wand days. So I'm using that concealer brush for that, take whatever's left, go under the eye, just so that when I go and put my under eye concealer on, the primer will aid in preventing creases. Although there's a couple of substantial creases under there now that no matter what I do, product gets caught in there. I'm gonna take the soft angled contour powder brush in a setting powder. Setting my eyelids in 0.5 seconds. <laughs> Even though the brush says what it's meant to be for, like this is obviously for contouring, but I mean, you can use the brushes for anything you want. They're so soft, so face brushes, I use them on my eyes and everything. Okay, I'm gonna use the Sigma Viper palette. This is what it looks like. It's really sexy, but I'm gonna stick to these three today. I'm gonna take Hypnotize with this blending brush. It's called the Diffused Crease E38. I've got that. I'm gonna take it through the socket. And my favorite little brush from Sigma is the Blending E36. It's tiny and I just love it for my eyes, I guess. My eye shape. I feel like every eye size and shape can utilize this brush. It's just so nice and small to nestle into the crease and use it for really nice things like that. So I'm gonna mix Adda with Hypnotize and I'm gonna start etching that into the outer V. If you haven't tried any Sigma brushes, I really think that this one is the one to try first. If you're looking to test out what they've got, maybe one of their foundation brushes, like the 4D HD Kabuki. I mean, there are no other brands that do shapes like this. And this one, I just use it all the time. So I'm getting some soft definition in there. The brush is really flexible, if you can see that. So it's nice and soft, easy to manipulate. Just keep building up slowly. Now I'm taking Adder on its own and I'm building up intensity along the lash line, connecting it up into the socket. Take that first blending brush, use it to make sure everything's soft. Now I'm gonna take Copperhead on the domed blending E43, just taking it right next to the brown. Then I'm gonna take Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust in Recharged. Just gonna put that on this part of the eye. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to very precisely line my eye with Matte Mulberry Eyeliner from Pixi. I'm 
Now I'm going in with the eyebrow brush. The bit of product on that. So I'm using the brush flat when I want to blend it. And then when I want to get that precise little angle, I can just use the sharp side. Mm, I think I want to play up on that wing a bit. So I'm going to take the brow powder on the tip of that brush. Oh yes, that looks good. Just want a little wing. Uh, that's probably the best wing I've done in a while. Look how cute it is and precise. The thing is you've got to get a pencil that is super duper sharp. These ones are really sharp, but they actually have an even better one. I didn't crack it open. It's this one, the E06 winged liner. It is so thin and the brow brush works well as well, but this one is even thinner. I don't know if you can see. That's another really good one. Like you won't find as detailed an eyeliner brush as that one. So if you're an eyeliner lover, definitely pick up that one. Take number 11 eye tint from Giorgio Armani, just to fill that inner corner. Same domed blending brush. Very, very inner corner with the E20 short shader. Okay, now it's time for mascara. I'll use the NARS Climax. I know, I know, I make a silly face. I hate how these end lashes curl in so much. These ones are splayed perfectly. These ones are a mess, honestly. Carol. Decided to put some of that moon stuff under there too. Now under eye concealer to fix up under there before I do lower lash mascara. I'll take the 4D HD Kabuki now. Again, that point comes in really handy when working around the eye area and other small little places. Although I just realized I'm gonna have to re-conceal that pimple now because I'm rubbing over the top. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> I got it there. It's okay. I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll flick it off. I think this blush will go great with the eyeshadow. And the brush I'm putting that on is the Powder Blush Brush F10. I don't want much. I know you're gonna think I'm weird, but you're gonna take that on the Diffused Crease E38. I feel like I was missing a transition color up there. And maybe underneath too. With the point of the 4D HD, I'm gonna blast that pimple once and for all with the tip. Just the tip. Got it. Just gonna dab the blush back over the top. That's as invisible as I think it will get. The Sigma highlighting brushes are amazing. This is the Tapered Highlighter F35. And this is Pixie by Petra Highlighter in Delicate Dew. Beautiful. Take that over that part of the brows too. Really soft and really pretty. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. You've gotta get one of these little eye brushes for this. This is the medium angled shading E70. I love it for doing my nose. It's just the perfect shape. Okay, I wanted to put 
an eyeliner the same color as my highlighter. So this is the Oyster Glow Eye Pencil from Pixi. Gonna put some in here too. Cool, so pretty. The makeup I mean. So you agree, you think you're really pretty. I'm doing this thing lately where I don't really put bronzer on. Should I put bronzer on? I think I'll use the bronzer from my Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. The F10 Powder Blush Brush. Let's contour a bit while we're here. I'll take the contour powder on the Soft Angled Contour F23. Gonna try the new Smashbox lip gloss, Gloss Angeles Gloss from Smashbox in Sorbet Watch. I get it, Bay Watch. That gloss feels really nice and it matches that eyeshadow perfectly. I think I'm gonna put lashes on, a last minute decision. These ones are from Ilua. Okay, that's the finished look, guys. What do you think of this flirty, peachy pink look for summer? So there you have it, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll pick someone to win that Sigma prize pack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the brushes and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.